II classification and evolution The II is a species of lemur that is found inhabiting the rainforests of Madagascar. The II is not only the largest nocturnal primate in the world but is also one of the most unique and is in fact so strange in appearance, that it was thought to be a large species of squirrel when it was first discovered. In the mid-1800s the II was finally recognized as being a species of lemur but was classified in a group of its own as their closest lemur relatives remain a mystery even today. However, these incredibly unique animals are severely threatened throughout much of their natural habitat and were thought to be on the brink of extinction by 1980, primarily due to them being killed instantly by local people who believe that seeing an II is very bad luck. Although today population numbers seem to have risen, the II is one of Madagascar's most endangered animal species. II anatomy and appearance The II is a primate that is most closely related to lemurs but is one of the most unique animals on the planet due to the fact that it possesses a number of very distinct adaptations. Their body and long tail are covered in coarse, shaggy black or dark brown fur with a layer of white guard hairs that helps them to blend into the surrounding forest in the dark. The II has very large eyes on its pointed face, a pink nose and rodent-like teeth with incisors that grow continuously to ensure that they never become blunt. Their large rounded ears are incredibly sensitive giving the II excellent hearing when listening for grubs beneath the tree bark and are able to be rotated independently. The II has long and bony fingers with sharp pointed claws on the ends to help when dangling from branches, but it is the middle fingers on their front feet which are their most distinctive feature. Much longer than the others, these fingers are opposable with a double-jointed tip and a hooked claw on the end and are used for both detecting grubs and dead wood and then extracting them. II distribution and habitat Historically, the II was an animal that inhabited the coastal forests of eastern and northwestern Madagascar but by 1983 they were thought to be almost extinct with only a few scattered individuals known to still be found there. Since then their population numbers have increased and although these populations aren't favorably big, they are found in an increasing number of locations and in a variety of different forest habitats. The II prefers dense, tropical and coastal rainforest where there is plenty of cover but they are also known to inhabit secondary forest, bamboo thickets, mangroves and even coconut groves along the eastern coast of Madagascar. However, along with the persecution of the II by local people they are severely threatened in their natural environment by habitat loss. II Behavior and Lifestyle The II is a nocturnal and arboreal animal meaning that it spends most of its life high in the trees. Although they are known to come down to the ground on occasion, IIs sleep, eat, travel and mate in the trees and are most commonly found close to the canopy where there is plenty of cover from the dense foliage. During the day IIs sleep in spherical nests in the forks of tree branches that are constructed out of leaves, branches and vines before emerging after dark to begin their hunt for food. The II is a solitary animal that marks its large home range with scent with the smaller territory of a female often overlapping those of at least a couple of males. Male IIs tend to share their territories with other males and are even known to share the same nests, although not at the same time and can seemingly tolerate each other until they hear the call of a female that is looking for a mate. II Reproduction and Life Cycles It was previously thought that the II had a very strict breeding season, in the same way as other lemurs, when they actually seem to breed throughout the year, depending on the when the female comes into season. When a female is ready to mate she calls to male lemurs who are known to gather around her and will fight aggressively between one another for breeding rights. After a gestation period that lasts for about five months, a single infant is born and spends its first two months in the safety of the nest, not being weaned until it is at least seven months old. Young IIs will remain with their mother until they are two years old and leave to establish a territory of their own. A female II is thought to be able to start reproducing when she is between 3 and 3.5 years old where males seems to be able to do so at least six months earlier. II Diet and Prey The II is an omnivorous animal that feeds on both other animals and plant matter, moving about high up in the trees and under the cover of night. Males are known to cover distances of up to 4 kilometers a night in their search for food, feeding on a variety of fruits, seeds, insects and nectar. They are however specially adapted to hunt in a very unique way as they use their elongated middle finger to tap dead wood in search of the hollow tunnels created by wood boring grubs, listening for even the slightest sound with their sensitive bat-like ears. Once the II has detected its prey it uses its sharp front teeth to gnaw a hole into the wood before inserting the long middle finger, 
hooking the grub with its claw and extracting it, filling the same ecological niche as a woodpecker. The I.I. is also known to use this long digit to eat eggs and coconut flesh and is thought to be the only primate to use echolocation when searching for food. I.I. predators and threats The secretive and tree-dwelling lifestyle of the I.I. means that it actually has very few natural predators in its native environment, with the agile and equally nocturnal fossa being their most ferocious natural predator, along with birds of prey and snakes that hunt the smaller and more vulnerable young. Humans are in fact the biggest threat to the I.I. as populations have been obliterated in much of their native forests due to superstition from local people who believe that it is a bad omen to see one. In other areas where they are not feared in this way, the I.I. is hunted as bushmeat. The biggest threat however to current populations is habitat loss caused both by deforestation and growing human settlements that encroach on the I.I.'s natural habitat. I.I. Interesting facts and features Although the I.I. is a solitary animal, males have very loose territories that can overlap those of a number of others. They build their nests high in the trees and will rarely sleep in the same one-two nights in a row which means that one territory can contain numerous nests, with up to six thought to be found in just one tree. The I.I. is thought to be one of the creepiest animals in the world with its name believed to have come from the cry of alarm when a person spotted one. Despite now being found in more areas of its once vast range, I.I. population numbers were once so low that they were actually thought to be extinct in the wild until 1957 when they were rediscovered. I.I. relationship with humans The main reason why I.I. population numbers have been critically low for years is that local people think that they are just too weird and many believe that seeing one is very bad luck indeed. One story says that if an I.I. points its long middle finger at you that you will die and other stresses that seeing one will lead to the death of a villager. The only way of stopping this in both cases is to kill the I.I. as quickly as possible which has led to the extinction of populations in certain areas. Today though, the I.I. is also faced with the increasing size of towns and villages that encroach on its native habitats with some individuals forced to invade crops to get food, which often leads to them being shot. They are also severely threatened by deforestation for the logging industry and to clear land for the creation of agricultural plantations. I.I. Conservation Status and Life Today Today The I.I. is listed by the IUCN as an animal that is endangered meaning that it is severely threatened from possible extinction in the near future. Numbers have increased somewhat since the 1980s and small populations have been sighted in more areas of their natural range however, they are still greatly threatened by the human activity going on around them. A number of captive populations can be found around the world in breeding programs to try and save the I.I. from complete extinction. A small population can also be found on the island of Nosy Mangabe, which is a protected reserve just off Madagascar's northeast coast. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please if you are enriched by our video like so YouTube can show this to more people, subscribe and share we will really appreciate it thanks.